Americas in dispersed position and shielded. Only the Americas had the rest of the world in reach to disperse to, invade and turn over, while they themselves were shielded from outside invasions, turnovers and impacts. Welcome to this video. This is a part of the series where at times I reason and introduce or present in backwards order, and when I do so this is in order to simplify and shorten for the viewers. Further, as in many other of my videos I prefer to simplify and introduce things in a more descriptive way, all this in order to make sure that the general public can understand the subjects in a reasonable short amount of time. Because of all of this I prefer to start this video making the claim that this video is fictional and not sufficiently scientific. For myself, JM, it is an unorthodox presentation of certain key hypotheses necessary to learn our ancestors and to solve serious challenges and actual problems we humans encounter. Heyerdahl's Eastern Origin Hypothesis Heyerdahl and others with him risked their life to prove his hypothesis and they succeeded, this in my and others' view, not the view of consensus. Presenting author of the article in focus of this video. Title, Contiki Expedition. In this video I call the author of the Wikipedia article in focus like the consensus author, this with the understanding that consensus is much broader than what the consensus author published in the article in focus. Presented is a figure presenting the main migration roots of what the consensus author calls the Austronesian expansion, while the author also claims it took place between 300 to 1500 BCE and that it is based on archaeological, linguistic, and genetic studies. Further the consensus author claims that the conclusions are opposed to Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis. Intermezzo observation JM. These migration routes presented by the consensus author are not opposed to the supposed Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis, this because the author himself shows that Heyerdahl's hypothesis is clearly eastern or east to west simply by calling it the Austronesian expansion and the fact it expands to Africa, Oceania, Polynesia and Australia that are confirmed by the consensus author are clearly east when compared to Southeast Asia and Africa. For the same reasons Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis is also clearly not western or from any other direction. Whether South America is involved the consensus author leaves open or even like a question mark. The direction is Oceania to Africa and also Polynesia etc. to Africa. The east-west or Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis direction is in line with the main currents and winds that are oriented and consequently suggest the migrations as east-west. What genetics will confirm and prove further in other videos. Once again that what fundamentals and science prove, the logical east to west direction, Amerind and Americas are negated. End of intermezzo observation JM. Quote by the consensus author. An admixture event between native South Americans and Polynesians, discovered by statistical DNA analysis, took place around 1150 to 1230 CE, this time similar to how Heyerdahl hypothesized. Intermezzo observation JM. Here, the by Heyerdahl and myself, JM, hypothesized order and direction from east to west is softly confirmed by the order the consensus author formulates his conclusion, native South Americans mix with Polynesians. Further and more important. 1. Native Americans and Polynesia are clearly east in the context that goes all the way from Polynesia or even South America to Africa. 2. The way it is argued here by the consensus author. The Native American DNA should not appear any further west than Polynesia and certainly not before the African ancestor of all comes to exist. In other videos I present and prove that Native American DNA does not only appear in Polynesia, which is the first west migration, but also further west in Australia, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, India, Africa and this amongst others like the whole continents Eurasia and Europe. When all these are added up they represent the whole world. This makes that not only South America to Polynesia is indicated and proven, but that all the way to Africa and the whole world is proven, and this even before the biconsensus supposed mitochondrial Eve or the biconsensus supposed ancestral haplogroup L comes to exist 200,000 year ago. All this confirms Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis and further confirms several of my JM hypotheses which at first sight are much broader than Heyerdahl's eastern origin hypothesis. All this also turns the claim of the consensus author of the article in scope in a paradigm, but also turns the main part of the whole actual consensus hypothesis, that still supports mitochondrial Eve and the haplogroup L, in a serious paradigm. End of intermezzo observation JM. Thank you for watching.